was it on Cheddar when they called that Kevin O'Leary and the guy says, you know, what? how did you go from being the person that was anti-Bitcoin, you were like Charlie Munger, everything about that was anti-Bitcoin, 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 and then all of a sudden you turn into this guy that's, you know, I, uh, uh, you know, uh, fully Bitcoin and, you know, you, it's, it's the way to go. And how did that happen? He that says, was a CNBC interview, and that was Andrew Ross Sorkin that called him out. Well, wait a minute. You just said 2018. Have you then, seen this? But in no. 2019, so, so this whole, I just send this. it to you. I, this, whole, this whole thing here with what's going on with FTX and who's involved, look, there are certain people that took sponsorship money. There is risk when you take sponsorship money, okay? There truly is risk. Uh, but then there's people that were bought okay when you do a little bit when you do sponsorship money you have to find out what the product is mm -hmm. okay and if you have a track record of saying yes to 100 percent of a product that, that is being sent your way guess what that means you're not you're not uh, endorsing anybody mm -hmm. you're simply taking money got you if you get if you get 10 people that come your way and say hey we'd like to be your sponsor the right number is around 70 to 80 percent of them should be turned down mm -hmm. you shouldn't just take money from everybody Watch what these guys, by the way, phenomenal job to both of them. Look what they do to Kevin O'Leary. Just watch. It's, it's painful okay. to right. brace for impact. All right. <laughs> singing the blues right now at all. Oh, yes, I'm singing the blues. Why? Because your $15 million didn't pan I, I, out? That you, that's a lot of money hey, to listen. be a, a paid spokesperson. It's a lot of money. You didn't have to do much for that. That's pretty, that's found well, that's money. That's a different Kevin. decision. That's a different discussion. Okay. I, the, I, you know, you can make that decision on your own, but I'm going to this point found money. that if that's you like want to say he's guilty before he's tried, I just don't understand it. But the, you went from Charlie Munger's view on Bitcoin to Michael Saylor's view on Bitcoin, and I actually kidded you about it. I said, "Who are you? You 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 may know nothing, but you're never in doubt. You're so strident when you said it was just worthless and rat poison." And then six months later, you're like this Bitcoin bull. And, and I, so I didn't understand that conversion. Did that conversion coincide with the $15 million that you got from, wow. from FTS? Did you hear that? Yeah. No, uh -oh. I was investing three and a half years That's earlier it. than that. I changed my mind back in early 2018 when I saw the regulators in Watch. jurisdictions like Canada, Switzerland, and Abu Dhabi start to change their minds. I got to stop you. I got to yeah. stop you. Uh, you just said you made this conversion in what year? I think it was 2018 I started investing, yeah. Okay, well, I, ju I just, just for, as a point of fact, for what it's worth, uh, May 14th, 2019, uh, you came on television and called Bitcoin garbage. It is a useless currency. It is a useless currency. I, that's what I believe. I don't, I don't you, think it should be. By the way, did you them. catch all of that? Yes. I love it. Yep. Putting their foot to the fire. Good for them. So. By the way, shout out to Joe Kernan and Andrew Ross Sorkin, uh, who you know host the the Morning Bell uh, on CNBC Squawk Box, I believe is what it is. I mean, look, they've they have, you know how awkward it is to have someone that maybe you consider a friend, a colleague, an investor, Kevin O'Leary, and call him out straight to Good. his face. Good, then he's more of that. You know, that's credibility right there. And the reality is, it's like those are questions that you should answer. Kevin O'Leary, he's like, 2018, I became a believer in Bitcoin. It's like, well, just let's just check the tail of the tape here. Yeah. In 2019, you called it a scam and trash. It's like, garbage. how does that add up? Garbage. I don't know. Not a good look for Kevin O'Leary. Mr. Wonderful. It's not. But, you know, he got 15 million bucks for it. Again, this is a perfect example. You can't say yes to everybody. We got, these guys came up to me wanting me to do what is a manscape, right? Mm -hmm. And they say, hey, we'll pay this. And then we'll pay this. And I'm like, dude, I'm not getting up there talking about it. Go shave you. I'm not, I'm not doing it. No, but everybody, I don't care. I'm not doing it. So number one, I'm not doing it. First of all, that's not even a big deal, right? Mm -hmm. No. Hey, uh, uh, this casino site, Pat, we're, we're willing to pay half a million dollars to do sponsorship and drive it to our gambling website. You don't gamble. First of all, do you realize, imagine the audience. I want you to kind of watch this. The audience watching me say the following. Yeah. So look, if you're like me and you bet on games, you, <laughs> no. first of all, yeah, to, but, but that, you're bought. Yeah. Now, if you protect the word, and by the way, let me make a, a very simple prediction to you. We have some people we're doing sponsorships with. You know who they are, Gold Co., Masterworks. We have Aura. a few companies, Aura, you know, Udemy, some of these guys we're doing partnerships with. They could still screw up in the future. But as of right now, we feel very confident about what they're doing. It's very clear. We feel confident endorsing 
having these companies being used because we feel confident about what they're doing today. There's a massive risk if you can just be bought with a check. And by the way, you just watch SPF saying, I can own you, and you just watch Kevin O'Leary, SPF is right. Mm -hmm. He just did. Yep. To a very powerful man who runs, who runs Shark Tank, yep. meaning he is the main talent of that show. It's, it's not anybody else. He's not the richest. Mark Cuban's the richest. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Mark Cuban's the sharpest. But Kevin O'Leary is the one that's the most well-rounded entertainer, shit talker, pushes the envelope. He draws people into that show. Is there any legal the ramifications, guy. Pat, for somebody? I don't think there should be. I don't. You should it for somebody going, no. I'm all in, even though they kind of no. know. I'm I don't think he should be, held, should be held accountable. I don't think there's any, uh, 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 no, nothing, not at all. Nothing, that's not I, I don't think there's anything you can do to Kevin O'Leary because realistically, he didn't do anything wrong. He took money and he said, this is a company to use. It's on the judgment of the individual that trusted him and says, this is a guy that's telling me. The individual should have said, how the hell do you go from hating Bitcoin, trashing Bitcoin? I remember one time Pompliano was on a show with one of these things and him and Pompliano are going at it. And Pompliano is selling, uh, you know, he's a, a, a Maximilian. Uh, uh, Maximus. Yeah. He, Maximilian. He was. He's Bitcoin. not as much as before. But he's, they're going at it. They're going at it. They're going at it. And just, this is garbage. This is this. This is that. So if you watched him go like that and then sudden flip, well, the person that invested is also taking that risk that how did you all of a sudden think that person's going to flip this quickly? Yeah. You know, so anyways, that that's on the individual. I don't think it's on Kevin O'Leary at all. By the way, because it's a slippery slope. It's like, all right, Kevin Leary, he's a, a financier, investor. He's on Shark Tank. He's on uh, CNBC. All right, he took money. But then, then you got Tom Brady. Then you got of Steph course. Curry. Of course. You know, Matt Damon did some crypto.com. So like, where does it go? At the end of the day, I don't think they should be held accountable, but they're gonna their brand and their image took a hit. is gonna take a hit. Yeah. And to sing your praises, uh, number one, I I use Manscape. I think I keep things real clean. Shout out to Manscape. But how many times? Because at one point in 2020, I was kind of handling some of the sponsorship stuff here, and they pitched me to pitch you on the gambling stuff. I said, I don't even want to bring this to Pat because I already think he's going to say no. And by the way, my entire brand is save that money, invest your time, don't spend your time on useless stuff. I'm like, I don't feel comfortable doing gambling stuff. Mm. And I know Pat's not going to do. But to your credit, how much stuff do you get pitched the and you're like, no, 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 no. The amount of money they're no. willing to pay to say, Insane. are you kidding me? We can't do it. But again, no. there's a lot of small YouTubers that need the sponsorships, totally get it. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of small guys that get started that you get a sponsorship, 200 bucks, 400 bucks. If you gamble, great, it's part of your brand. But make sure whatever you're doing with sponsorship is something that matches your brand, no matter how much people pay you. But if they pay you, you take mm -hmm. it, there's the risk that if it flips, your name's on the line. So if you like this clip and you wanna watch another one, click right here. And if you wanna watch the entire podcast, click right here.